Hey guys, it's Woodup here, and welcome back to NASCAR 7 Kermel part number 31. We're going to be ending the regular season and then beginning probably two of the chase races, maybe three. I don't know, don't hold me to it. I, I don't know. I don't know. So, it might, it'll probably be two. So, um, here's the standings. Basically, Jimmy's in unless he forgets to show up to Richmond or something. Because he has like a hundred and some odd big point lead over Cowboys, so... Yeah, Dale Jr. still kind of has a shot, but I, I kind of think it's a bit out of the... Yeah, it's almost a full race, so it's not looking good. I think Jimmy's going to probably make it, which good good for Jimmy. But anyways, on to Richmond, we'll do our qualifying. This should be a pretty easy win because it was like that in the spring, too. Through three and four, our first lap was pretty bad. We had the outside wall. But this one was a lot better. Just the default setup is just disgustingly tight. But... Otherwise, as long as we back up the corner, turn three should be fine. So, that, it looks like to be a chill race. I got my headphones on standby like usual. So the car is set up. I'll show you why it's so tight, because the wedge is uh, a round and a half up. I don't know why the default's like that, but it is. So, just got to get through turns one and two, and then we should be fine. I'm going to try to... This is one of the tracks, too, where the AI like to bring themselves out of caution, so I'm going to try to stay as long as I can to kind of prevent that. So, we've got that on our back pocket to worry about. We'll get through turn two. Yeah, we kind of clear marked. I'm not going to push the envelope. And just take it easy into turn three. Back it up a little bit. And, okay. And are we clear marked? Yes, we are. Okay. I'll see you later, field. I'm pinning this lap. We had like a four second lead. So, the pit crew can afford to make a galactic mistake. And I'll be okay with it. So. Do your worst, pit crew. And that's going to be a 18 second stop so the pit crew do what they need to and get the estimated time. Though it's bittersweet because watch when uh, the, you know, the chase races come and they're going to make a mistake and I'm going to be angry. And the one time I want them to make a mistake, they don't. So how how poetic is that? Yeah, we're, we're leading. We're fine. It's going to be a very simple race. <laughs> very, very easy. This is just one of those filler races where <laughs> nothing happened. Good lord, that was that was just insane. New Hampshire should be a lot tougher, so we're gonna have to go into sweat mode there, but yes, yeah, that was that was insane. We'll take a look at the finishing results. I'm assuming Jimmy made it into the chase. We led all the laps. Stewart, Biffle, Martin, Kenseth, Johnson, yeah, he made it. <laughs> he definitely made it. And Joe Nemechek ninth, Jeff Burton tenth, Sanders, Colonel Sanders brother. <laughs> We lapped a lot of cars. I think we got up to almost half the field. It was it was a crazy amount. Oh my god, it was. Only 17 on the lead lap. Good lord. <laughs> that is... Oh boy. And we got Dover in this part too, so I'm expecting to rage. Is it going to be a raise? Yeah, I figured. I had a feeling. So now we'll take a, a yonder at the standings. And here's what the, the chase grid looks like. So we got Stewart second, Biffle third. Uh, Kurt is 6th, Kenseth, Mark, Jimmy's in ninth. Shock actually moved up a spot, and Elliot Sadler 10th, and Dale Jr. the first person out with Kevin Harvick, uh, Kyle Busch, Kyle Busch, oh yeah, he was already out, <laughs> what am I thinking, <laughs> alright, so, there's your, there's your 10, and now, uh, gotta make sure we do really good now, <laughs> again, so, on to New Hampshire, where we should have a good chance to win. Wow. <laughs> well, we can kiss the any chance of uh, doing. Oh, you know what? You know what I'm gonna do? <laughs> I'm gonna get a better starter lap. <laughs> oh, that, I I don't think this is cheating, but I think this could work. <laughs> we just need a starting lap. <laughs> God damn it! I knew I shouldn't have been on the apron. I should have known better. I did it again. <laughs> what? All right, sure, we'll qualify 30th nearly. Oh my god, I don't know. It's either I, either I use a default and suck, or I use a two pit road adjustments and just slaughter the field. I, there no happy medium. I bang my knee off my desk, or I actually kind of push it because my knee was already on the desk and I smacked it and then it, whatever. Well, the interesting thing is Jimmy's on pole. It, it, 
if Jimmy has a shot to win a championship, it's going to be the ultimate sandbagging thing I've ever seen because he <laughs> he was he was tenth, but he's he's trying to prove everybody wrong. I I respect it. Try not to trying to get a legit championship and not the Mickey ones that he got later. <laughs> I don't know why people will call it that. It's fucked up, but all right. Now we're just gonna try to see what this car can do. Uh, obviously, if it's we're still having problems, I guess we could go down here and make our adjustments for the second half of the ra uh, of the run. But yeah, it's just yeah. Default's gonna make this pretty damn tough, I think, because we're we're still struggling a little bit. Though we are gaining spots. Yeah, sure, let's just go four wide. Why the hell not, you know? Sure. But yeah, downshifting in the third just helps us out so much in the corners. It, it really is our big saving grace because we're not too fast on the straightaways here. So those corners, they, they save us. Yeah, we are absolutely going through the field. I don't know why I had such a problem qualifying if I could just kind of go through the field like this now. Got to be careful with that apron though because like, it turns too much. Good lord, look Look at the car just cut through the field. This is disgusting. What, where was this in qualifying? I, I don't know. But just like that, we are almost in top 10. <laughs> Good god. Alright, well. Never mind, maybe this won't be as hard as I thought. Well, doing that doesn't make things better. Don't, don't you spin out. Oh, Kyle, that's cute. You're, you're... Okay. I was going to say, you're going to block me into the wall, we're going to have a really big problem. We only had a little problem. There we go. Up to... I'm just... Like, what is this? Like, we're just, just carving our way through the field like it's nothing. I don't understand. I'm very, I'm very confused. Okay, well... Hello, Jimmy. <laughs> I... God, stop! Stop! Jeez, I just want to get to the inside of him. God, Toxic's gonna be so upset. He's gonna turn to the to the Toxic man. Hey, it's his name. Oh, I actually, ooh, what a connection. All right, music time. Pitting this lap, we have such a lead again. The pit crew can have a 30 second pit stop, but I think we'll be fine. So, wow. I and I and I was worried going into this race. Isn't that funny? Well. All right, well, for second, Jeff Green still stout pit. Hello, Bipple. Okay. We did lose time. Okay. Well, won't matter. We still, we're still going to cycle out to the lead. Jeff Green is still down pit road. There we go. All right, well, that was another very simple race. It's all it's all building up to Dover being a shit show, isn't it? That's, 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 oh, boy, I saw, Jesus Christ. That's what it's building up to. Wow. Well, um, well, the interval is similar to what Richmond was, so interesting. It's, like, consistently easy so far, but, yeah. <laughs> Dover, we're going full, like, pit road adjustments. We, we absolutely have to. We, tr we saw what happened last time there, so. Jimmy does get some bonus points. Biffle's up there, too. Gordon's up there, as well. Kurt, too. Newman, Stewart. A lot of chase regulars are... Actually, up here, Denny Hamlin 10th. Well, good for him, because Nascar 6 doesn't like to make his AI run too well, so good for him. So, yeah. Dover and Kansas are really the only two tracks I'm really worried about, so I really want to make sure we run well there. Here's the standings after race 1 of 10. We have 30 points over Biffle. Stewart's right there. Jimmy leaps frogs from, uh, I think, 9th to 6th. And we have... Sadler 10th, Mark 9th. Please, Mark, don't finish last in the chase. I really I really don't want to see him do that. So, I even got my headsets off, so you know it's it's uh, it's time for sweat mode. So we'll go into qualifying and try not to die in the apron. Despite hitting the wall off turn 2, that's a pull. 22-299? Yeah. By half a second, okay. It looks promising, but you never know with this track. I'm expecting to eat the apron at least once. Alrighty, so the setup, uh, tire pressure's all the way down, the wedge is a full round down, so it's a little bit freer. So, uh, yeah. Um, I'm, I don't know what to expect. I'm just, 
I'm a little un I'm a little unsure. Though this is one of the few tracks too where we get a good start, or at least better than normal, as Gordon's gonna get by me. Sorry, Biffle, I have to wait the fucking apron. God almighty. Ooh, that's a nice Newman car. Yeah, I gotta get the inside though. Because this is uh this is not ideal. Uh, turn, turn, turn. Ugh. Oh, it just doesn't. Oh, it just. B burn. I'm... <laughs> I... How come he didn't become a fidget spinner when he hit the apron? Huh? What, what kind of shit is that, EA? Oh, Newman? It... <sighs> That's the most Newman thing I've ever seen. <laughs> God. Ah. <laughs> Gotta get to the inside line. Gotta. Gotta get to the inside. <laughs> okay, we did. Thank God. Oh, it's just, it's still so stupid tight. Just imagine how bad it would be if we didn't have the adjustments in. That's one last guy we gotta worry about. Clear, all clear. Oh, Jesus Christ. I hate this track on this game. I don't know what it is. It just bugs the shit out of me. Alrighty, so we caught up to Biffle. Like, we're right there. I knew it was gonna happen. I knew it was gonna happen. Like, it was just, it was just destined in the universe. Just like imagine racing at Dover and you can't get close to the like the, the track is, is so tight off the corner like you need every bit of track you just can't fucking use it like good god so asinine we lose two spots on the start it's 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 stupid tight I don't know what to do to it it's just Dover being stupid Thankfully, we built up a pretty decent lead after New Hampshire, so this, you know, we're gonna probably lose a lot of points here. Good God, car turn! Like, oh, good, like it's unreal. Like, what more do I gotta do to, to make the car turn? Like, it's already a whole ra a, a round down the wedge. Do I need to go two rounds? Is that what I gotta do? I guess so. Oh my fucking God. I just want it to just. <laughs> it's stupid. It's so bad. God. That's just, I fucking hate this stupid shit. I'm still. So <laughs> I can't win. I might as well just mow the wall down every lap, just so I don't fucking become a fidget spinner every other lap. Because that's that's just what it's gonna have to come down to. That's what I gotta do. I just gotta keep mowing the wall down because, you know, the thing won't... You know, I, 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 I don't get close to that apron. <sighs> Fucking Christ, man. Like, it's just... It, like, who designed this? The, oh, my God. <laughs> Vickers wrecked in my mirror. Oh, my God. What a shit show. What an absolute... I mean, that helps me out a lot, but... Yeah, we're gonna be, we're gonna be pinned as soon as we can. I'm gonna make this thing even fucking looser, just so it can goddamn turn in the corner, because it's just, it's so bad. Screw it, I'm pinning this lap. It's the same thing I did in the spring race, where I just pitted a lap earlier than the halfway point. Because we need a, we need Jesus, we need this car to turn, and <laughs> hope it works out. Actually, the pit crew got the estimated time, but the repair damage is gonna kinda hurt. Well, in the spring race, we got like 15th or something, so I'd like to try to maybe finish better than that. If I can, you know, help it. So, yeah, we'll see if that even happens. Now, where are we going to cycle out? We're running, like, 13th before. And this is going to put us 21st, I think. So, yeah, we lost, we lost ground. So, the car does turn. As far as the wedge adjustment did, it, it made it turn. We just need the whole track to do it. But we should be able to gain some of these spots that we lost. This would be like our first green flag pass that's not during pit stop cycles in the race. We didn't make contact. We got close, but we didn't make contact. So holy shit, we made a pass. Now we'll get by this guy. Kurt's having a bad chase run. I don't really like to see that. That actually kind of hurts my heart a little bit. But Biffle's leading, which is a bit of a concern because he's up there in points. But yeah, I, I like to maybe get a top 15 if I can. I think the top 15 is right there in front of me, so... Up there in the distance, I mean. So I'd like to try to achieve that. But Kurt's making it difficult. Then again, the car still is not perfect in turning. I mean, it, it, we need the whole track to turn, which is kind of a, 
it, it's not really a good thing. Especially a track like this, you kind of need it to, to do stuff. So, I don't know. If you need a good uh, run off the corner. And we could do it. That was that was really dangerous. The car wanted it. It wanted to die. Just wanted to die again. We've come to this pack of cars. Now we just gotta... <laughs> why do I always have to hit Jimmy? Like, why? Hamlin is mad. I don't blame him because I, I hit the I, I hit the fidget spinner apron. I just gotta get by him. I just really the only way to pass them is just get a good run off turn, you know, out the corner, just launch it on the straightaway. I was really expecting to get hit, but it didn't happen. All right, two more spots and then we're gonna almost finish where we did in the spring race. I think so. I would be okay with that. After the, the race I went through today, I, I will be completely fine with that. Get by Walt Trip. Perfect. I gotta get by Kyle Bush. Just gonna park it in the corner just a little bit so thing stays on the bottom. It barely did. I mean, and not really, but we didn't make contact, and that's the most important thing. And hey, we're in the 14th, yay. My flag's out. Yeah, we're, we're struggling now. It seems like the car's pretty decent for uh, like three-fourths of the run, but that other half is other one fourth is awful. That last lap we lost four tenths to leader in particular. So the car is definitely dying. We should be able to hang on to fourteenth. We do barely. I after the race we had at Dover, that could have been so much worse. I'll take it. I'll I'll, I'll take fourteenth. Chase staying is gonna be very interesting though because it's gonna be uh, points are gonna be tightened back up. So yeah, it's it's gonna be interesting to see how this shakes up again. Biffle and Gordon led a big chunk of the race. Biffle gets max points. And I don't know who was second. I think it was Stewart. So Stewart ended up getting... Uh, he got 7th. 146 to our, like, 127, I think. 121. So, yeah, that's 25 points we lost. That's just the Stewart. Maybe we lost the point lead to somebody else, like Biffle, possibly. I don't know. It's, uh... It's still pretty tight at the moment, so I don't know. Let me guess this is another showdown challenge. Yes, it is, of course. No, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Thank you for the race, though. I appreciate that. I just got one, but you gave me another one. Like, within a span of two races, I appreciate that. Point standings time. Oh, boy. Oh, Biffle, yeah. I, I had a feeling it was going to be Biffle, possibly. <laughs> 39 points back, though. Damn, we lost. Yeah, we lost a good chunk. Newman's third, Gordon that's up there. It's almost like NASCAR, uh, NASCAR 6 uh, all over again with uh, with this. At least Mark's not last, so that's that's good in the chase. So good, good for him. Damn. Well, the next race up is, I think Charlotte. No, it's Kansas. Oh fuck! Oh my god. <laughs> Oh no! I just oh, that's gonna be another hell race. I think this is where we're gonna end the part because I don't I don't want to deal with that. Talladega should be fine, but if the AI are gonna wreck themselves like this for most of the race, then I, I don't know. Lowe's is I think this is the point in the season where we're just gonna have to go. Well, Martinsville we're gonna win no matter what. Atlanta probably. We're just gonna have to go balls out and use pit road adjustments throughout the rest of the season and hope that's good enough because we're gonna lose points at Kansas and. We're going to have to try to make that back up throughout the rest of the chase. And it seems like it's going to be really tough because Biffle's up there all the time. So it's going to be a, a full-on ultimate sweat mode to try to get those points back. So, yeah. Let's wrap this part up. Big shout-out to my two or three Patreon supporters. The Dale Reynolds, Weather Bros, Kamikaze Games, Ryan Lazarin, Dave Hunter, Champ 15, NASCAR, Numbersite.org, Bailey Carrier, Jonathan Carr, and Golfie 100, Danny Hamill, Ultra Fan, Emilio Bebzer, and Mark Harmon for a donation again. I can't thank you guys enough for your contribution and support the channel. <laughs> Every single month like this, it doesn't mean a lot. It always truly, truly goes a long ways with everything. So I'm always really grateful. And you guys are just really, really badass. I'll see you all next part for Kansas, which will probably go horribly. Then Talladega. Then Lowe's, which... I mean, we should be able to win Talladega and Lowe's, but I, I don't know. Martinsville's going to be a guarantee. Atlanta's probably going to be a guarantee. Texas might be tough. Uh, Phoenix... Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm just I'm not sure. If we blow this title after winning 20 races or so, I, I'm going to be really upset. Actually, it's, it might be more as the season goes on, but yeah, if we, if we lose it, I'm going to be upset. 
That'll do it for me, though. I'll see you all next part, and I'll see you all later. And as always, have a good day, everyone.